My book is about the attempt by a Google side project called Sidewalk Labs to build a city of the future on the Toronto waterfront. It was supposed to be filled with brand new technologies, really sustainable technologies, um, but there were a lot of concerns around privacy and who's gonna be making decisions about the city of the future. And it wound up sort of becoming this source of many different controversies over privacy, over who gets to make decisions in cities. And in the end, uh, the company walked away. The project was never built. Millions of dollars were lost. And I had a front row seat in uh, watching it all happen. This provokes thoughts about technology. And we're not just talking about the technology in our hand. It's about the technology that might be in the sidewalk, the technology in the road, the technology that we're exposed to. And will provoke thoughts about how will walking down the street and in our urban environments connect with technology and also what type of role do we want big companies like Google to play in that world? Across Canada, cities and are you know really competing for corporations to come, but also to maintain these you know corporations that they have. And so I think understanding you know how this story played out in Toronto is very instructive for the rest of Canada. What we saw in O'Kane's book was a collision between urban planning, commercial interests, and a vision for the Toronto's waterfront. On one hand, you have people who believe the cities need to be disrupted in a sort of classic tech sense, that you know they're not efficient enough and we need to make them more efficient. And then you also have this whole other camp of people who believe that cities need to be inefficient, that they need to have a whole lot of boring process in order to make sure that democracy is upheld, that everyone's viewpoints are brought together. And this is not a story that ends in 2023 or, or is just a story you know, going back a few years. It's an ongoing situation and I think it's a meaningful and very instructive book for anybody who's interested in what's going on there in their own city or town. If you're interested not just in politics, but if you're interested in urban planning and the future of the places where we live, this book definitely will provoke you in terms of thinking about technology from everything from what's embedded in the sidewalk to the roads to the experiences that we have.